Hey there, it's Ackerman Gadget. We are here at Seagraph 2012 in Los Angeles with Jonas from Studio Nand, and he's going to tell us about Botanicus Interacticus. Hello, this is Botanicus Interacticus, a project by Disney Research in collaboration with my studio, Studio Nand, at the Green Isle. And this is demonstrating a new kind of sensor technology developed as Disney Research. The small little sensor which we see here does only need a single electrode attached to the plant and then basically makes this plant interactive. It could be any kind of object which is conductive and this object will be interactive. So basically we are injecting a very small current into the plant which is sweeping to multiple frequencies over 200 and we get a subset of these frequencies back which we then can analyze how the object was touched if it's just a slight stroke or if I really grasp it and where it, where it was touched as well so this is a snake plant and what we see here is a halfway mirror reflecting half of the image so that you can get a kind of 3D-ish impression. So let me guide you through all the plants. This is our bamboo. And here we can see that we are also able to detect the position. If we look at the white bar on the left, it's moving regarding where I'm touching. Orchid is very sensitive, so it works already if we just get close to it. I don't really have to touch it. So it's already responding just by getting close. When I'm touching too much, it kind of gets annoyed. And this is our artificial plant, which we made for demonstration purposes. It's kind of how the sensor sees the plant, basically. So we have these titanium rods, and in between there are capacitors. This is basically the first time the whole sensor is exposed to the public basically and for us it's a really good test to see how people react and how they respond basically to this kind of technology. We don't have any proper applications at the moment but I'm sure there are lots of possible things you can imagine for, for Disney, uh, in the entertainment, in the parks, basically everywhere because you can make any kind of object interactive and easily work with the information processed through the, the sensor.